Seems like Ross Gerber expects Tesla stock to go down to $120. He's not explicitly saying it, but he's sort of saying it. Another reality is Tesla profits are not growing, and now $3 for this year looks questionable. Why should Tesla have such a high valuation? That's what the market is assessing. 40 times $3 is $120, and everyone else is multiple, but with high growth rate in the short term the stock market can get extremely rational if it does happen i will be certainly taking advantage of that opportunity and look that eyes often gives his price targets out based on the sentiment and despite that he strongly believes in tesla stock still being an opportunity even in the short term we believe the risk to reward is extremely compelling at these levels with the AI story and FSD making major strides at Tesla. Ross Gerber though says there is no AI story, so Tesla stopped working on FSD completely, I guess, based on that comment. Elon is clearly using AI resources in a place he controls 100% XAI. Tesla has no AI program and FSD still doesn't work completely, even close. Elon has made it very clear he will be building AI outside of Tesla. So Tesla is definitely not working on the Tesla bot for which it needs AI to work. And Tesla is definitely not updating FSD to 12.3, which Elon says should be arguably called v13 because you know there is definitely no progress made here i understand though the frustration that ross is experiencing right now elon did say that he's not exactly a fan of building ai products at tesla if he cannot control 25 percent of tesla now looking at recent tweets from elon and posts that he's making which a lot of them are actually about tesla even posts that are not exactly big news for Tesla, but they are just interesting posts. Like this one, thanks to the hard work of the Tesla Giga Berlin team and support from the community, the factory is back online. This basically is completely irrelevant to the public. But yet, Elon is retweeting this and it reminds everyone of Tesla. It helps with the morale at Tesla. It helps Tesla recruit more talented people. And this is Elon sort of predicting that FSD will be solved relatively soon. AI will probably be smarter than any single human next year. By 2029, AI is probably smarter than all humans combined. Elon is posting Model 3 is more affordable than most people realize. Now, of course, these posts are followed by a lot of other things, but there is no denying the fact that Elon is posting a lot about Tesla and that I believe is helping Tesla, but more importantly, to me, that represents Elon's commitment to Tesla. And anything that Elon focuses on for a long time, continuously, eventually, that thing takes off and works in a big way. So I would definitely not bet against that. And if I wouldn't bet against that, that means it's a good idea to bet in favor of it. My assumption is the reason why Elon Musk is posting so much more is because he probably talked to the Tesla board and he has some sort of clear agreement of how Elon will be able to increase control of Tesla, making him happy about it and therefore having him focus on Tesla again. And he did say that he's not happy building AI inside of Tesla if he controls less than 25% of Tesla. So if he can get that control back, the natural assumption would be that he will be building AI products. Maybe not all of the AI products, of course, but some, yeah. And if you believe in AI, then naturally the bots, humanoid robots, will be a big part of our future and Tesla is well positioned to take advantage of that future. Now there is some progress being made with the uh, judge that rescinded Elon Musk's compensation. She admitted that she received many communications from Tesla investors about her decision to rescind Elon Musk's 2018 pay package and about the lawyer's request to be paid $5 billion in Tesla's stock. The judge, however, has reportedly noted that she is not reading any of the shareholders' letters, but that does not mean that it did not have any impact. So don't think that your letters went to waste. Definitely not, because she sees, oh, people actually care about this decision. I'm getting letters. Maybe she's not reading them, but maybe she read at least one. She at least has an understanding that people are not 
happy with what she's doing. But anyway, I think it's more about the number of letters that she's receiving and not about what's being said in the letters as much. For any comedians watching this right now, please pay attention and take notes because the explanation of the judge in terms of why she's not reading the letters is... Um, something you can add to your material. She reportedly noted that the state's judiciary code prohibits me from considering the letters from non-parties in the litigation who claim to hold Tesla's stock. The judge's comments have been received with some raised eyebrows from Tesla shareholders on social media. Some noted that her comment about non-parties in the litigation are particularly interesting. After all, her decision to rescind Elon Musk's 2018 pay package was reportedly done to protect the interest of Tesla shareholders. It is then quite strange to see the judge opting not to read letters from the people that she is protecting. And the ethics code also prohibits her from donating to political campaigns, but she did. You can look it up on this website. Okay, so I just searched for her name and I, I, I'm not exactly 100% sure if this is the same person, but it is in Delaware. Occupation is attorney. Recipient information, Democratic Party. Assuming that this is the same person and this is the judge, which I'm not so sure if that is the case because it says not employed and occupation, not employed. But the latest donation I see here is from 2020. So donations made in 2020 would not exactly look great on her resume. And there is one donation for someone running for Congress, but this is from 2016. And that specific record is definitely from her because she worked at this law firm. And as you can see, this is that same law firm. And clearly she's donating money to a Democrat. And here's another donation for someone uh, running for Congress, also a Democrat. So I think politically, it's extremely clear where she stands. And lately, Elon Musk has been making a lot of the Democrats angry. So naturally, she would have a negative impression of Elon Musk. And I think that reflected in her judgment.